The model grid interpretation is a key part of the exploration workflow in PaleoScan. After having loaded the seismic data in the PaleoScan project, imported or picked the faults of the studied area, the model grid interpretation will constrain the geometry of the future relative geological time model. The production of an accurate RGT model is essential for the proper creation of subsequent exploration objects such as horizon stack and geobodies. This tutorial covers the creation of an optimized model grid relative to the seismic data, the best practice for the model grid interpretation, the RGT model creation, and the horizon stack creation, including the mapping of attributes. To generate a model grid, go to the Model Grid module and click on the New Model Grid button and select the New 3D Model Grid option. In the displayed interface, select the seismic volume that will be used for the computation of the model grid. Use the cross navigation tool from the main toolbar, position the seed on the seismic and click on the test parameters button to locally visualize the preview of the model grid using the default parameters. Various preview options can be activated from the properties panel. The preview model, the ISO line, the grid with the connections. Regarding the parameters, the patch size corresponds to the number of bins associated to each node. It can be increased or decreased to adapt the horizontal resolution of the grid. Various polarities can be selected. The option Pick Trough and Zero Crossing will provide the highest vertical resolution but will increase the size of the grid. The smooth level can be modified to improve the connections between the nodes. The spatial undersampling can be increased to reduce the seismic resolution horizontally. Increasing the spatial undersampling can be useful to optimize the model grid computation on large seismic volumes. The vertical undersampling can be increased to reduce the seismic resolution vertically. We recommend not to increase this parameter as high frequency content of a seismic might be lost. In the Advanced Options tab, it is possible to use external horizons to vertically bound the creation interval of the model grid. To do so, select the boundary method and drag and drop the corresponding horizons in the corresponding fields. Exclusion zones can be specified by dropping multi-z volumes where the model grid creation should be prevented. Soul domes, for instance. Eventually, in the Model Grid Parameters tab, a fault set can be added. Each fault plan will constrain the model grid by preventing node connections on each side of a fault. Note that we can, at this stage, observe the influence of the faults in the model grid by mapping the future horizons of the model grid. Finally, Click on Save to launch the model grid computation. Assign a relevant name to the model grid, including the parameters used to create it. The created model grid is stored under the model grid folder of the model grid tab of the project browser. By default, Paloscan opens the automatically interpreted model grid named AutoInter. The automatically connected patches are listed in the Horizon List panel. Note that an initial grid free of connections between the nodes was also created. The preview of the future relative geological time model constrained by the auto interpretation can be activated from the properties panel or by using T. The user must then refine the interpretation of the model grid by connecting different groups of patches of similar depositional time or by disconnecting inconsistent connections. To edit a horizon, Either select the cross-navigation mouse mod from the main toolbar, then drag the seed on a horizon, click W to activate this horizon, drag your cursor to the next horizon to be connected, press W again, N, press M 
as mark to validate the interpretation. Or alternatively, select the tracking button, tracking mode. That is a new option of the Paluscan 2018 version. This tool allows you to directly visualize the pre-existing connected patches. Position your cursor on the horizon you want to edit and click on the several part of the horizon to be linked so as to interpret this horizon. Again, press M to validate your interpretation. The user may also use the horizon viewer so as to move in cross navigation mouse mode to complete the interpretation of a given horizon. The marked horizon can be visualized through the horizon list. To do so, and select all horizons and tick only the marked horizon. Click update to show only the marked horizons. Both inlines and crosslines can be used to interpret the horizons. Conflict may sometimes occur when two parts of a horizon under addition are overlapping. The previously edited horizon will appear in yellow and the part of a horizon overlapping in conflict will appear in pink. In this case, the user may choose to click cancel to cancel the addition of a new part of the horizon or select partial or full to validate the connection of the two part of the horizons. When clicking apply, only the great part of the under addition horizon will be added to the previous additively yellow horizon. The full option allows to map the whole grayed horizon. The partial option allows to validate the propagation of the grayed horizon only locally relative to this position. The automatic interpretation may allow to connect directly two sides of a fault if the automatic propagation was able to go around the fault. In some cases, if the fault is relatively long and crosses the whole survey, the automatic connections was not possible. In this case, the user may connect manually the two parts of the fault. Note that in the case of a mistake, a part of the under addition horizon can be erased. To do so, in the model grid tool, select the horizon eraser tool and brush the part of the horizon to be deleted. Alternatively, the eraser can be activated by pressing shift while having the tracker mouse mode activated. The horizon erasing can also be performed from the horizon viewer. Once in a while, the user may save the interpretation. To do so, from the model grid module toolbar, click on the Save Interpretation button. Assign a relevant name to the interpretation and click OK. A new interpretation will be added in the relative model grid. From time to time, activate the model preview to visualize the areas of the seismic where the interpretation should be refined to fill the gaps of the model. Note that it is not mandatory in Pelloscan to map an entire horizon. Small gaps may remain and will not prevent the constraining of a geo model. From the Properties panel, the correlation threshold parameter can be adapted to modify the extent of correlation of a horizon. Increasing the correlation threshold will increase the restriction or mapping of a horizon. Lowering the correlation threshold will facilitate the extrapolation of a horizon. Note that the polarity constraint may be deactivated so as to laterally correlate horizons of different polarities, which may be helpful, for instance, to connect the same horizon with a lateral change of faces. The data mapping tool, available from the model grid toolbar, can be very useful to QC on live the propagation of horizons. From the data mapping on patches interface, the attribute to be mapped on the patches must already exist either as a real attribute volume or as a real-time attribute volume. 
select the attribute to be mapped on the patches and click next. Then activate the horizon viewer and from the properties panel under the display mode option select the type of data mapping. None would display the Z value on the patches and alternatively select another type of data to be mapped. The use of the data mapping on patches is an efficient tool to QC on live the proper correlation of the horizons. Note that the computed data mapping are saved while exchanging model grids through the project data connector. If necessary, the model grid can be interpreted from an arbitrary line. This can be very convenient, for instance, to propagate the interpretation around the salt dome. To do so, click on the new 2D line interpreter viewer, choose an arbitrary line from the list, click OK. A new model grid arbitrary line viewer will be open, on which the user will be able to continue the interpretation. Note that different type of previews are available in the Properties tab. When activating, the model preview is available. The ISO line can also be visualized with the cross navigation mouse mode. Move your seed up and down and scroll through the seismic to visualize the ISO lines through the current preview model. The current connections in the model grid can be displayed at any moment by ticking the grid option. Concerning the model preview, different quality preview are available. The medium quality preview allows to visualize the preview model in the whole seismic. The high quality preview allows observing the influence of the three link probability, interpolation size and smooth level parameters around the seed. These parameters may be played with to adjust the compromise between the filling of the geo model and the precision of the seismic information. The high quality preview mode is only available on the current line and scrolling will deactivate the preview. Some user may want to constrain the geometry of the model grid with external imported horizons, for instance, this horizon here which can be seen as intersecting the seismic on the 2D viewer. To do so, in the Model Grid Module toolbar, go in the Grid Constraint button and select the Horizon Constraint option. In the displayed interface, select the horizon that will be set as a constraint in the Model Grid. Drag and drop it in the panel to the right. A max distance option is available as a threshold so as not to map the external horizon if this horizon is too far from a horizon of the model grid. Multi and single polarity options are available so as to stick the external horizon on any nearest polarity or any nearest dominant polarity respectively. Note that several external horizons can be used as constraints at the same time. Click OK to stick the horizons to the model grid polarities. When the model grid is sufficiently refined, in this case after about two weeks of interpretation, the RGT model can finally be computed. To do so, from the model grid module toolbar, click on the Geo model creation button and select the Compute Geo model option. In the displayed interface, select Fit if you're confident that your horizons are very well respecting the geometry of the seismic horizons, or No Fit if you want that the marked horizon be slightly smoothed in the output geo model. Adapt the interpolation, smooth size, and link probability parameters according to the compromise feeling versus seismic consistent that you want to obtain. Input a fault set if you want that your geo model includes some gaps at the location of the faults. With a fault set input, the geo model will fill the gaps at the location of the faults 
smoothing the geometry between the two sides of the folds. Again, the user may include an exclusion zone to prevent the creation of a geomodel in certain areas. If wished, the user may create from this stage the X-line and the time slide dimensions of the geomodel. Click Save to compute the geomodel and click OK. Created geomodels are stored under the model folder of the volume tab of the project browser. So as to perform a quality control of the geomodel, use the New Blending Viewers tool from the main toolbar. Select New Volume Blending Viewer. In the displayed interface, select the seismic as reference and drop it in the first channel and the created geomodel for the second channel. Adapt the color scale of the geomodel and of the seismic. Through the blending subviewer, scroll back and forth through the seismic so as to control the geometry of the created geomodel relative to the seismic. If satisfied with the geometry of the geomodel, go to the Horizon Stack module and click on the New Horizon Stack button and select the New 3D Horizon Stack option. Select a geomodel of reference for the Horizon Stack and a seismic of reference for the background. Adapt the position of the top and bottom limits of the horizon stack with the gauge buttons to the right of the interface. You can more precisely adjust the position of the limits with the blue and green arrows. You can preview the geometry of the horizon stack by ticking the horizons preview option. The density of a horizon stack can be increased or decreased by increasing or decreasing the number of horizons. When satisfied with the density of the horizon stack, click on the blue arrow to the right of the interface. To map an attribute on a horizon stack, select a reference volume as input, for instance the seismic, drag and drop the input, and apply a filter depending on the attribute you want to map on the horizon stack. Give a proper name to the future horizon stack, click on the plus tab to map a new attribute as a batch on the same horizon stack. Eventually, click on Run to start the computation. Double click on the horizon stack to open it in a 2D viewer. Right click on the top bar and from the context menu, click on Display 2D view in 3D. From the Properties panel, it is possible to modify the display of the attribute. For instance, instead of displaying the data, the user can display the Z value. So in conclusion, the creation of a relative geological time model is a key part of the workflow of PaleoScan. The interpretation of the model grid is semi-automatic because a part of the connections between the nodes generated by PaleoScan is automatically performed by the software. The user must refine these connections to better respect the seismic where addition is required. The more refined the interpretation of the seismic, the more accurate the geomodel and therefore the more accurate the geometry of the horizon stacks. An accurate horizon stack allows mapping and imaging attributes relative to the same chronostratigraphic surface and therefore obtain a coherent signal across the whole seismic volume. A proper attribute mapping can then be used to map geobodies in the next stage of the workflow. For more information about Paloscan, feel free to visit our website 